कैंडिडेट अनाउंस करने का तय किया कैंडिडेट आप जानते हैं श्रीमती मार्गरेट अलवा मार्गरेट अलवा शी वॉज मिनिस्टर इन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया शी वॉज राज्यसभा मेम्बर फॉर मेनी इयर्स शी वॉज अ गवर्नर ऑल्सो एंड शी हैव द पर्सन हु गट अ वास्ट एक्सपीरियंस इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड इन पार्लियामेंट्री अफेयर्स and that's why we discuss two names and ultimately we unite in the city as who the name of the shivaji margaret alwa the parties who are going to support this candidate congress जी एम के समाजवादी पार्टी एन सी सी आर जे डी शिवसेना टी आर एस आर एस पी वी सी के मनी कांग्रेस एम जी एम के आई यू एम एल सी सी आई सी सी आई एम जे एम एम नेशनल कांग्रेस आर एल जी वी आर सो थैंक टू कॉन्टैक्ट ममता जी शी वॉज रिलीजिंग सम कॉन्फ्रेंस सो आवर कॉन्टैक्ट इज नॉट एस्टिस्ट एंड सेकेंडली वी आर सो थैंक टू कॉन्टैक्ट अरविंद केजरीवाल बट मैसेज कम फ्रॉम हिज ऑफिस कि लास्ट टाइम वेन वी हैव फाइनलाइज कैंडिडेचर फॉर राष्ट्रपति दे हैव अनाउंस दे सफोज दे रिफर यस्टर डे एंड हियर ऑल्सो दे आर गोइंग टू अनाउंस दे सफोज आई थिंक टुमारो और डे आफ्टर टुमारो I was collective thinking is on Tuesday. Remember, huh? no, on Tuesday, 19, we filed her nomination on behalf of all these political parties. Any other question? Thank you. Thank you. Sir, sir, what about the TMC, sir? Uh, who all were a part of it? No, no. I just read out the list. Yeah. TMC, sir. TMC and Aam Aadmi Party. You tried to reach out to them, but TMC, 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 शिवसेना से पूछिए ना बैठक में है तो क्या आखिर तक बहुत से पार्टी ने लिया था जेमे जेमे हमने लिया था और हमारे साथ है ये चुनाव में हम एक साथ ओके ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू गुड थैंक यू सर थैंक यू लेकिन आपका थैंक यू सर Thank you, sir. My salute to the guy. God bless. God bless. Uh huh. Okay. Hey. Uh. Sir, I'm here for the match. We call you.
Alright, now we're joined by Pallavi Ghosh, a senior editor. We have more context on this. The opposition party PC just concluded that was Sharad Pawar there announcing the opposition candidate for the vice presidential elections. And that is Margaret Alva, a very decorated Indian politician. And I'm joined by Pallavi to give us more context. Uh, very good evening to you, Pallavi. Uh, what do we know about Margaret Alva? He's been uh, one of the senior most leaders of the Congress party, extremely close to the Gandhis at one point of time. She comes from Karnataka. Uh, you know, she's been a minister also, a CWC member with a lot of administrative experience. But what is really very interesting is that she's been a governor of Rajasthan and Jagdeep Bhankar is also from Rajasthan. So there are two cards which the opposition, of course, wants to play. One, of course, is the fact that they've pitted a woman as a vice presidential candidate, pretty much playing the same card which is being placed by the NDA when they chose Draupadi Murmu as the presidential candidate. That's one. Second, of course, a Rajasthan factor. We know Rajasthan elections are not too far away. And Jagdeep Bhankar is a Jat leader from Rajasthan. They're trying to checkmate that though to not the same extent because Margaret Alva is actually from Karnataka but she has been a governor of Rajasthan. She's extremely firebrand, uh, very aggressive but very clearly the choice of the Gandhis of the Congress party. Uh, I think as we have always been reporting, you know, uh, they don't have the number certainly but these presidential elections, vice presidential elections are also about political semantics. It's about putting a political Stay point with us. of view across. We're also joined by Amit Malviya, spokesperson of uh, the BJP and the IT head as well. Uh, very good evening to you, sir. There you go. The opposition candidate has been announced. That is uh, Margaret Alva and that's the unanimous pick except for TMC and AAP. How do you view that? The fact that the TMC and AAP haven't, uh, you know, supported this choice yet. In Sharad Pawar says he's unable to contact them so far. But, uh, you know, they, they have been uh, some conspicuous omissions for the support. Well, it's good to see that the opposition has uh, named a candidate. It is always a good to have a contest and win it eventually. But this is, again, not a united opposition. Just like in the, pres in the presidential um, nominee, there were some opposition parties that broke ranks and have supported the NDA candidate. Similarly, you have the TMC and the Aam Aadmi Party, which is not part of uh, this uh, name that has been proposed by the opposition. So clearly... Uh, much left to desire as far as the opposition is concerned. But the NDA has the requisite number to see uh, their nominee through, and we are quite confident that uh, Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar will be the next vice president of India. Well, yes, indeed, you do have the numbers. The interesting that you picked Jagdeep Dhankar. Uh, you are, uh, you know, of course, opposition saying that you did that pick because Rajasthan elections are coming up. He's a Jat, about 41 seats, uh, you know, uh, the Jats have about 41 seats in the house in Rajasthan. And also interesting that they've also gone ahead and picked Margaret Alva, who has been uh, the governor of uh, Rajasthan as well. Do you think uh, this was because you picked somebody from the region that the opposition has decided uh, to play that move as well? Look, as far as Rajasthan is concerned, in the last three elections, Every time the BJP won the state, it won with a massive majority, and the Congress never crossed even the halfway mark. They had to come together with uh, independence to form government. So, um, electorally, this is not a decision that will have any sort of bearing on Rajasthan election because the BJP is going to win that state very comfortably, particularly since uh, Ashok Gehlot has done such a horrible job of running the government. Uh, but Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar brings with him great administrative, legal and constitutional experience as a member of parliament, um, as a minister and then uh, as governor. So clearly his uh, standing, his experience will all be very handy as the chairperson of the Rajya Sabha. Not uh, to forget that he comes from an agrarian background, um, from Rajasthan, is an accomplished lawyer, represents the influential perhaps even dominant chart community in parts of Rajasthan and Haryana. So all those aspects do help um, to bolster up his credentials, but he is the right man for the job for various other reasons of expertise and his uh, legal and constitutional understanding.